90% of all the robots in the world live in factories. The availability of cheap human labor in China and the Far East hasn't slowed down the march of machines, and sales of industrial robots are in fact growing faster in China than anywhere else in the world. Robots were first put to work in 1961, when General Motors installed Unimate. This was a 1.8-ton die-cast robot arm that dealt with red-hot metal car door handles and other parts dangerous and unpleasant work for humans. Unimate followed instructions stored on a magnetic drum, the forerunner of today's computer hard disks, and could be reprogrammed to do other jobs. When Unimate robots took over the job of welding car bodies in 1969, the GM plant in Ohio was able to build 110 cars an Hour, twice as fast as any factory in the world at that time. Modern industrial robots have evolved from using clumsy hydraulic pistons to much more precise electric motors for each joint. Sensors on each one detects an LED light shining through a disc with slots cut into it. As the slots interrupt the light beam, they send a series of pulses to the robot's CPU that tells it precisely how far the arm was moved. Cameras mounted on the end of each arm use sophisticated image processing software that allows them to identify objects even if they are upside down or rotated on the conveyor belt, while ultrasound proximity sensors prevent the robots from striking obstacles in their path. Even with all this sophistication, industrial robots are so strong and move so quickly that it has always been dangerous for humans to share an assembly line with them. But the latest machines have joints driven by springs, which are tensioned by motors instead of motors driving the arm joints directly. This absorbs the force from an accidental knock and enables the robot to react in time to avoid an injury. 